Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, uh, I'm going to show you guys a nice little heat press that I like very much. It's made by a super solid company, Stalls. It's a 16 by 20. I have the caddy right here that it sits on top of, and the 16 by 20 is down here. And usually, I like to pick it up and put it on top of a table and show you the box and unbox it, but I'm not doing all that today. You're just going to see the heat press, all right? So, hopefully, I'll see you guys in a second. Yo, so I got it set up. It wasn't even that bad. I thought it was going to be kind of crazy because the box or the caddy is so large, but the the metal on this caddy is super solid. You want to make sure you're wearing tennis shoes or be super careful because uh, I got on some slides and I hit it, you know, it's like hitting the corner of a bed. But uh, this heat press is solid. I've even actually had one before. I had a smaller version. I forgot. I think it was like the 11 by 15, 15 by 15 or something like that. I even did a review video for it for like way back when I had it. Um, it was a good size and it was actually pretty lightweight. Like this right here is a 16 by 20. It's honestly not that bad of a weight for a 16 by 20 heat press. The actual heat press, this one right here is 87 pounds. So in comparison to other 16 by 20 heat presses, this is like the most lightweight that I've been able to handle. It's, it's actually pretty doable for one person to pick it up. Um, but of course, highly suggested to people. I don't want you to hurt yourself. And what I do like about this heat press, this pretty different that I don't find in other heat presses is this thing right here is literally just a screw. So whenever you put this down, you can screw this down and it'll keep the heat press in this uh, position. And the reason why I do like that is because whenever you're transferring heat presses, like from one table to another table, well, this one's on the caddy, but if you don't plan on purchasing the caddy, um, this will come in handy because with other heat presses, it's usually zip tied down. So this little screw right here is actually pretty handy. And that's something different that I don't really see in other heat presses. And the caddy is pretty useful because you do want to be mobile, especially if you're in a tight place. Because for the most part, whenever you get a 16 by 20 heat press and you need a heavy, durable table, it's usually like a full size like table the size of this computer desk. Um, or it's like some large square and not even like a rectangular shape in the same size as the heat press. So the legs do stick out a little bit, but you, you get all this space back. And if you still need table space to work with nearby the heat press, this is adjustable. And I have a table right here and you can literally put it right next to the table because this right here will overlap the table. So that's actually pretty interesting as well. And it works out for me because when I make these videos now, I can just push it in and out of the way, right? So when it comes to pricing, the actual heat press itself is around 1700 bucks. This is a 16 by 20 auto clam uh, heat press. So it opens up by itself and it has a little bit other features as well. The caddy is about 400 bucks. You don't necessarily need the caddy. This can sit on the table. Make sure the table can hold up to 100 pounds, maybe a little more because whenever you're pushing down on it, you are putting some pressure on the table. So 1700 bucks, you definitely get your money's worth. I've had a stalls heat press before. Had to go back and get another one. It's been a minute. And I'm going to use this one for videos a lot because I can push it in and out of the way. And this will last you. I wish I could say the word forever, but I don't want to promise y'all anything. But Stalls is built to last. Stalls is one of the great brands out there. All right. So if you want to invest in the heat press and you're going to be in this game forever, I highly recommend a Stalls. All right. It's user friendly to begin with. And this heat press will just, it's, it's solid. All right. And anybody who I've seen just like who get straight into the heat press game, get into the t-shirt game and want to buy a heat press and they know they're going to be in it forever, then usually go with the stalls uh, fusion. But this right here is a great press too. So um, there's just no better investment to me that I've seen within like under two grand or so that can make you money just like like that. I just don't know any other investments like that that can just make you money just like this. I mean, maybe I do, but just it's solid man i don't know what else to say but let's go ahead and get straight into it so what's also pretty neat is it has these two sets of timers all right so right now it's pressing for 15 seconds i'm not clamped all the way down because i just want to give you guys a, a a chance to look at it so right now it's counting down from 15 seconds all right so now i have what is called like a two-step timer i believe so now the next time it's only set to five seconds. So I like that because typically whenever I heat press a shirt, I put on the transfer. And when I take off the transfer, I usually like to put a Teflon sheet over it or a parchment sheet. 
and then give it a second press just to make it a little more secure onto the shirt. So that's why I like that. But if you want to just set it at one time, you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and press our first T-shirt. So I'm going to take my shirt. Just going to do this the easy way, this way. Give it a quick little pre-press. Now I'm gonna take this. This is also from Stalls. This is from Stalls Transfer Express. So what's cool about Stalls Transfer Express transfers is the fact that you can gang the designs. So I have two different designs on here. I have one up here and this one right here that I'm gonna use for the back. So I'm just gonna cut off the top. Also Stalls heat presses are made in the USA. Just wanna give you guys a little insight on that. So it's definitely quality. All right, so I'm gonna take this one right here and you're wondering why I'm doing a black design. On a black design, I'm about to show you. All right, so I got that right there. So I'm gonna push it down. And it also has a pressure gauge, one through nine, nine being the heaviest, one being the softest. So whenever you adjust the, uh, the pressure, it'll actually give you a readout of what that pressure is reading. Gonna peel this. All right, so that came off. And now what I was referring to, I like to take a little cover sheet and press it again for another five seconds. And now the timer is set to my second time point of five seconds. All right, now check this out. Oh, it's a little hot. But check that out. This is metallic black from Transfer Express. I'm doing metallic black on black. I always love the way that looks. Man, so now we're gonna do the back. I'm gonna take this, place it right here. Now it's gonna go for 15 seconds and it's actually pretty easy to clamp down as well. Um, usually it's kind of hard for me to do when I'm sitting down. So even though I'm pushing it pretty heavily with two hands while sitting down, it's actually pretty easy. Take that off. Now I'm gonna take my cover sheet. You don't necessarily have to do this. It's not necessarily even recommended or any in any type of instructions. It just gives you that extra thought of security pretty much, but it does help. So we're gonna take that off. Now check this out. Metallic black on black is just, man, it's just an awesome, awesome clean look, man. So, so we easily created a front and back t-shirt with uh, just a heat press and a stalls transfers and I do have other videos on stalls transfers as well Even the ones where I make the extra uh, uh, Custom neck label if you haven't seen by now Man, I'm, I'm loving this heat press All right, so we got one shirt out of the way now. Let's go ahead and do a hoodie All right, so we got a hoodie Hoodie's a little thicker, so you're gonna wanna lower the pressure a little bit. Also, I'm gonna see if this is quite threadable or not. All right, so that looks pretty good. All right, so I have another transfer from Transfer Express. This one is actually the Puff style transfer, all right? So I did the same thing as well. Got a front little print and got a back print. And now I'm gonna put this down. All right, and now I'm gonna give this a press. All right, so about the puff, 
I think we got to lower the pressure a little bit because I think I flattened it out. So the instructions does say medium uh, to heavy pressure, but like I was on pressure nine. Um, I think we need to lower it down a little bit, but let me show you how it turned out. Still looks cool, of course, nice little hoodie, but it's flat. It's not puffed. <laughs> All right, so we got one more shot of this. I don't. I really don't want to use another shirt, but if we have to, we will. All right, so I'm gonna go with a lower pressure. Let's see how it turns out. All right, so here we go. This pressure is a lot lower. All right, so this pressure was a lot lower, but I'm still not seeing it like that. You can see it a little bit. And you can feel it very slightly, but it's not as much as whenever you see like a screen printed in actual puff ink, but it is more raised than it is like a typical transfer. So this one right here is very, very flat into the shirt. This one is literally for a transfer is quite in the shirt. All right, so this one right here, it is a nice opaque solid white though, I will say that, super solid white. It's not exactly like very puffy, but it does have a slight feel to it. You're definitely not gonna be able to see it on camera, but you can feel it slightly in person. But it still got the job done. All right, so this is a super, 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 super solid heat press. Can't say that enough, man. I really can't. If you can invest in a heat press, if you got the money, invest in something like a Stahl's heat press, 16 by 20. I highly, highly recommend 16 by 20. Um, something smaller will get the job done because most of the time prints are usually like 12 inches wide to about 14 inches tall at the most. So even if 16 by 16 heat press. I think that's a smaller version of this or or it might even be smaller. I don't know. Let me try and find this previous video I recorded a long time ago and I'm going to clip it in right now. If I didn't clip it in, it's because I didn't find it. But like I said, if you got the money to invest in a heat press and if you want something that's going to last and you want something that's quality, something like this. And this also has an interchangeable platens. And the platen is super solid. So I do have a special platen coming in very soon. I showed it in a previous video. I'm going to clip it in once more. So I don't know if you caught it, but it has a little area right here where you can practically heat press a neck tag label at the same time as you're heat pressing the t-shirt come on man where else are you gonna get something like that so as soon as i get my hands on that we're gonna see that video also i'm gonna buy a sleeve platen so yeah this is it you want to heat press you got the money you want to invest this is gonna be a long-term thing for you this is it this is the one you should go for stalls if i say down like every heat press video invest in one just invest in one man you can make so much money with these things and I'm tired of just having to say it. Watch my other videos so I can show you. I don't just freaking heat press t-shirts. I heat press t-shirts to make money. Let me not break this heat press because I just got it. But uh, if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. And don't comment $1,700. That's a little out of my budget. Listen, man. $1,700 for a heat press like this will take you a long way. And I'm pretty sure some of you all, because I know y'all are some great supporters, already have this heat press and watched through this whole video anyways. 
and y'all are gonna comment down below saying, I have this heat press. I just know y'all are because I appreciate y'all. Appreciate everybody who's been watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm gonna see y'all on the next one when we get the new platinum. Peace. Hey, Hustle Ninja, thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and stay hustling.